rights, women's rights, women's rights. Susan B. Anthony was one of the women who fought for women's rights. She was president for two years of the NWSA, National Women's Suffrage Association. She was born in Adams, Massachusetts, 1820, February 15th. She died in March 1906. Susan B. Anthony was a great woman. Press the air. Press the arrows to learn more. So, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, this is our um, biographies. We're doing them. Um, Susan B. Anthony is a great woman because she fought for women's rights. She saw it wasn't fair that men were getting more rights than women. This feeling drew her to greatness. Susan B. Anthony was such a great woman, she got her face on a coin, a dollar coin to be exact. You can find it if your grandparents have one, your mom and dad had one, or you can get it at a knickknack store. Susan B. Anthony was the mother of women's rights. She was the first person to fight for women's rights. People kept gathering with her in meetings to talk about what that, what it was about. And she was the mother of women's rights because she was the first person to fight for women's rights. If you aren't the first person to fight for something, you, you do something, you're a follower of the first person. So, Susan B. Anthony was a leader. She had followers. She was the mother of women's rights. She fought for women's rights until she voted. She voted, and then she got arrested. She refused to pay because she knew she was doing something right. She knew she was doing right. Here's a fun fact about Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony came from the Quaker family. They only made oatmeal back then. They didn't, aren't, weren't as famous as they are now. Susan B. Anthony was charged $100 for trying to vote in 1873, but she never paid a dime. Today on March 13th, 1906, Susan B. Anthony died in her, in her own living room. She had a long life, a happy long life, of trying to um, get women's rights. Twenty years later, in 1926, there was an um, amendment made on the rights of Susan B. Anthony. It's called the Susan B. Anthony Bill of Rights. And then women got their rights, all because of what Susan B. Anthony did.